Good evening. We're glad you're with us tonight. And we're getting a new perspective tonight on a deadly high-speed chase. And we're also learning a lot more about that driver. That chase started last night in southwest Oklahoma City. It ended in Cottonwood Creek in Guthrie. Our Steve Shaw is live in Guthrie with what witnesses are saying. Steve? Kelly and Amanda, we are right across the street from the popular Stables Cafe. Folks, this chase last night roared right past there, and we have body cam video from a sheriff's deputy. North on Division Pass Noble, he's going high rate of speed. He's probably going to make the turn. That Logan County deputy was one of many who were chasing 31-year-old Stephen Sloniker. Sloniker's criminal history in Oklahoma County alone dates back 14 years with several convictions for car theft, driving on a suspended license, and drug possession. Sloniker didn't make the turn Thursday night. Crashed out, County, crashed out. I saw a man in a jacked up truck just zoom right past us. Wyatt Sarasua works at Stables Cafe and was one of many who saw Sloniker scream by just before the black Ford F-250 Sloniker was driving, hit some railroad tracks, and went airborne just down the road. Which way? In the water? I don't know. I don't know where he's at. They pointed over this way. Did you see where he went? He's in the water. Sloniker and his rig ended up upside down in a swollen cottonwood creek. Yeah, there's there's blood, 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 blood in the water. Contact your supervisor, please. OHP divers uh, found Sloniker's body several hours later. Live on the scene on the story in Logan County, Steve Shaw.